Okay, so it's winter time and we just used the TF-250 for an entire summer. What's it like? So this is basically a one year review of the Spalding 2F, or sorry, TF-250 using it outside for a whole entire year. Now I'm calling this an entire year even though it was about five months. However, there's a reason why I say it's a whole year. The reason is is because this ball has been used every single day on average for about four to four and a half hours every single day obviously there's been rainy days and there's because of that some days were like seven hours outside while other days were three or four hours or even zero if it was raining so because of that I've averaged it out to about four and a quarter hours every single day for the past about five months that's about a year's worth maybe even two years worth depending on who you are so this is the one year review. And anyways, what do we see different between an original T250 ball and the one year used one? Well, there's some big differences. I bought these both at the same exact time. I bought four at the same time because I tend to go through basketballs like there is no tomorrow. I'm a basketball trainer. I use lots of basketballs. So because of that, let's check it out. The number one thing that we see is, of course, all of the gold printing that's normally supposed to be on there wore off, and that generally wore off. Being outside, within a couple of weeks, it wasn't something that stuck around for a long time. And then the next thing that started to wear off was the shiny gold stuff on the actual lines itself. Now, when it comes to that, shininess, the way it looks, not a big ordeal for me. Basketballs get worn down and that's just generally what happens. However, what about the feel? What about the feel itself? Is it still grippy? Well, if I can palm this basketball over top of my computer right now and I feel comfortable doing that, it still has grip. Does it have as much grip as a brand new one? No. The brand new ones are kind of slippery anyways because they're not worn in yet, they're not broken in, they're still kind of slippery, but I still feel comfortable doing this over top of a computer. A MacBook that's worth $3,500. So I have some faith in the grip on the basketballs, which is fantastic. However, when you're outside, maybe when you're just starting to warm up outside, after about that year's worth, so over the past month or so, the Spalding basketball that's been worn in hasn't had that much grip until you start sweating. When your hands start getting a little bit moist, you can do one of these things to get them moist. People do that. Some people may say it's disgusting, but if you want to get more grip on a basketball, that's one thing you can do. Just wipe your head, wipe it off on your pants so that they get a little bit moist, they're not dry anymore, and you'll be able to grip a basketball much better. That's just kind of a tip I can give you right now. However, overall, it's a pretty solid basketball. I'm gonna be able to get probably, I hope, another summer out of these ones, which doesn't usually happen for basketballs with me. Now we did have a shortened training season because for a while we weren't even allowed to be technically on the basketball court because of uh, government regulations when it comes to the virus, but uh, that didn't stop me from playing, but it stopped many people and it uh, was able to stop me from training most of my players. So, because of that, I didn't get a full technical season out of it from, like, April on. However, for how long we were outside, it was about the same, roughly the same amount of time as average anyways. It's held up pretty good. Now, what about the bounce? Because there's two things that really come to a basketball, or come to a decision on a basketball, if it's whether it's good or not. And that is, number one, the grip. Does it hold grip? And clearly, it holds some grip. It doesn't... It is more uh, I would say more of a towel feel now this is more of a leather feel being a new basketball it's got that leathery feel meanwhile the one that's been used outside for a long time feels more like a towel it's got that soft feeling it still has grip which is surprising to me but it has that uh, soft teddy bear towel type of feel to it it doesn't have that plasticky, leathery feel to it. So because of that, it does lose some grip. However, does it keep the bounce? Because that's the second point what I always look at for the basketball. Does it have a consistent bounce? So the size six basketball I use, or basketballs that I use right now, 
for the younger players, they're on the cheaper and they're still leather. It wasn't a cheap basketball, it was like 50 bucks, but these are nowhere close to being 50 bucks. But that one has an inconsistent bounce now. If you do a crossover, it doesn't seem to want to bounce up as high. It seems like the leather has gone hard, yet it's still a spalding. Yet these kept like a softness to them so that when it does do it, when you do go do a really low crossover, it has still that consistent bounce to bounce back up to where you would expect it. So because of that, I prefer the TF250s and next year I will be looking for TF250 size 6 basketballs for my younger players because clearly the Spalding NBA basketball that's a size 6 is just not able to keep up with the rigors of being outside. Clearly the TF250 is a pretty solid basketball. Now some things about the looks is yes, there it is starting to get a couple of rips, usually near the seams, but that's Okay, that's kind of expected. Any part that's got a little bit of a bulge to it, so for example, the basketball on the CEBL logo, that's starting to get some worn off leather look and feel to it. And the black parts of this one seem to be starting to peel in the corners, but the orange part is peeling, but it's just sort of worn down. It's not necessarily peeling like the black parts. So if you have a black if you're looking at TF250s make sure to get the totally orange ones and not the black ones that might be a small tip for you but overall i would say that this will get me another year usually with most basketballs that i've had actually every single basketball that i've had gets that soft towely feel to it and within days within days it starts peeling and the leather starts peeling and that's just not fun because then you need to buy a new basketball. These never had that happen just as of yet, and it's been that t soft, towely feel for about maybe a month or two so far. So overall, if you're really calculating the amount of time that I've used this basketball, we'll say it's about 105 days, which is how many days that I've trained this year for at least a couple of hours. And if we go 105, and my average was uh, 4.25 hours, so if we go 105 times 4.25, you end up with about 446 hours of outside basketball on this ball. And that's between myself just shooting around and myself training clients for two, three, or four hours a day, plus an extra hour or two of myself just shooting around. That's how much time I spend on the court. And doing videos, which is crazy, if you really think about it. I put like 10 hours a day into this channel. So anyways, I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. I hope that this video helps you make your decision. That is one year in review on a Spalding TF250 still has grip, enough grip to be over top of a $3,500 computer in one hand. And I'll see you guys again next time.